Van life can be feast or famine. Right now, our water tank, pretty much empty. Famine. But we have just been to a supermarket and check out our cupboard. Stuffed. <laughs> We have done every ablution we pretty much can today. We have emptied the loo, we have filled up our water, our grey tank was empty from yesterday. But what is exciting is that we are now heading to Antwerp, so that's pretty cool. Good morning everyone. Last night we slept woo, there and today we are walking into Antwerp. We are hoping to get the ferry over which apparently is free which is quite cool um, but apparently there's two different ferries. There's like a ferry bus and a ferry and one's charging and doesn't go as often and one goes really often and is free. I don't really understand it but Bob seems to understand so that's good. But what I do understand is that once we are there, we are going to have a look at their cathedral and we are going to have a look at a lovely statue, which is a memory of someone who would cut off people's hands and throw them. So literally, we're in the city of throwing hands, which is absolutely hilarious. Um, and yeah, we're also going to have a look at the park and the station, because apparently the station is beautiful. And that's where we're going to start, but hopefully we'll also along the way get some nibbles um, and stuff like that. So we'll uh, show you as much as we can. Just settled down and had a lovely apple in a nice park. Do you know the name of the park? Strad Park. Strad Park. And we are going to go to a shop called Pippoos. Pippoos, because we have actually filled our first travel journal. It's stuffed. It is stuffed. And so we are going to go buy a new one from Pippoos because there's some lovely bullet journals there. Yeah, we've been there already. And then. I said to Mia, if we don't find another one on our day, we should go back and get it. And Mia's basically been silent. And when I asked why she was quiet, she was like, I can only, all I can think about is this journal from Pippoos. So it's that's really where nice. we're going. It's one. It's one, the battle of the journals. It has. Yeah. Um, but we did find another nice shop, which was like Tiger, like Flying Tiger. Um, but like super bougie, hygge, Christmas... I was in heaven. I've already found one of my friend's Christmas presents in there, so Jess, keep your eye out. Um, oh, this is coming out after Christmas. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed your present, Jess. <laughs> and um, yeah, then it's chips o'clock, and then we're gonna go find a pub. Classic us. <laughs> Belgium, right? Chips and beer. Chips and beer. Where? leaving Antwerp now and we won't be vlogging for the next few days because our purpose of being in Belgium is meeting up with an old friend of mine and so the camera probably won't be coming out for the next few days because we're with her and her family um, so we'll see you the other side when we're heading into back into France to Montferme. We had a lovely time with our friends and once our visit had passed we began our drive home. We drove through vivid colours of autumn took in the wonderful natural surroundings and came to our final stay in Europe, Montherm. We are in Montermey. It's our last destination before we head back to England. Um, we're here for a few days while Mia works. Um, we're in a valley, but the, the internet is incredible, so we're, we're very fortunate. Um, it's beautiful here, and we are parked right next to a river, which you'll see plenty of. Uh, you will see less of Mia, though, because she's ill. So she's working and she's ill, so uh, feel for her. Um, unfortunately, you're stuck with me. Behind me is a metal forge and the whole time we're here you can hear a sort of constant din, a sort of the sound of someone smacking metal. Um, I wonder if it's coming up on the, the camera now, but I'll try and catch some of it before we leave. I'm now just stood outside the abbey here. Uh, it feels like most places we stop off in, in Europe has some form of abbey and they're often really well kept. It's funny how even now I'm sort of spoiled because this is quite an impressive building but it, it to me is now it's just become pretty pretty standard to see an abbey like this. There are a few noises coming through the valley and they're constantly here. So the aforementioned industry, um, the metal works, seems to be going pretty much all the time. And alongside that, every 15 minutes we get a, uh, a chime which sounds like three blind mice or hot cross buns uh, to let us know that it's quarter past or half past or quarter to the hour. And then every hour the abbey that I just showed you brings out how many hours it's been or whatever that is what's the word I'm looking for and it chimes for the hour so just moments ago it was 10 o'clock apparently um, it's quite a loud loud little valley <laughs>
looking beautiful. Very ill. Very ill, my lovely. Let's go do the, um, the wires. <laughs> I've contracted her. I'm rubbish at folding this up. Rolling it up? Yeah, coiling it. Coiling it. Look at her go! See, if this was me, it would already be tang tangled like headphones that you put in your pocket. When you do, it looks so funny. <laughs> You're like... Yeah, look, that's me. That would be me. Imagine my face where Mia is. That's what it would look like. And instead, Mia makes this look like it's not even worthy of film because it's so easy. Even when she's dying of the lurgy. See, look, wire's got a mind of its own. What time is it? I don't know, the bell tower is not ringing. I don't know if it's quarter to, quarter past, or half past. Uh, but it's it's pumpkin time. How many chimes did it ring for pumpkin time? Pumpkin. <laughs> it's doing it. Must be one o'clock. I really hope the chimes come out on the yeah, camera, otherwise I'll just looking hear like... <laughs> Are you excited about your pumpkin, Rob? Pumpkin for lunch. <laughs> I was about to say, look how pretty it is. <laughs> so like... <laughs> is it Halloween? <laughs> We're good, you're gonna break our though. <laughs> Look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. Oh. oh. It is not as late as it looks outside actually. Clocks have changed, right? So it's like five o'clock maybe. The the dings will dong soon enough and we'll know again. Anyway, welcome to the Mia show. Mia, how are you doing? Is how are you feeling? Mia, is it on you? It's entirely on you. Oh. On, on that, on that <laughs> gorgeous face that in this light has gone is quite yellow. Maybe I should change the colour of the lights. Oh yeah. It's like who wants to be a millionaire? Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fish now. Now I'm a son. Oh. So Mia, how are we doing? How are we feeling? How's the illness conquering you? I think I'm conquering the illness, you know, babes. I'm doing well. Yesterday I was like, <gasps> But now I'm like, a bit bunged up, but I can cope. I, yesterday I hit my head on a cupboard and that was enough to to bring on the tears. But today, I think if I hit my head on the cupboard, I'd probably slam it, tell it where to go and then move on with my life, which is pretty standard. So I'm getting there. Thank you very much for asking. Champion. I'm ready for more questions. Um, You've set it up now. You set up this whole, this whole studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so the uh, thirty-two thousand question. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> <laughs> um, what has been? What are your two stars and a wish? That could be happy. Well, your two stars and a wish for our trip to the continent now three weeks or so that we've been here so my two stars my first star would be uh, star number one meeting up with our friend Barbara Rob hasn't met up with this woman for ages and she now has a beautiful house and a beautiful family and they could not have been more welcoming and when we were leaving she said you've got to come back with more stories and I just thought that was the nicest way of saying I want you to return, but I also want you to have adventures, and I also want to be part of that process and the adventures, and I want to know about it all. So, 
absolutely hats off to them they've done absolutely amazingly and we will be returning to them because they were awesome my second star would be i've actually done it like i think a lot of people wish that they lived this nomadic lifestyle or wish that they'd self-converted a van or, or something but life circumstances or nerves or whatever it is has gotten in the way of that and that is absolutely fine but we've done it we've bought the van we've kitted out the van it was long it was expensive it was hard and we've actually braved it to get it onto a ferry to get it here and we've done Europe now we've kind of cracked the eggshell of it we've we're in and that is just amazing like any trip now is going to be easier so that's my second star we've actually done it and we're here my wish for next time is that is that we're able to get into it more swiftly because this was all new and because it was all quite scary it took us about six or seven days to actually feel comfortable but next time we come we're going to feel more comfortable much more quickly we're going to feel used to the roads we're going to know what to expect from the supermarkets the food the people so i think when we arrive next time my wish would be to get into the zone of europe faster and therefore start feeling more comfortable so, global citizens bobby hello what are your two stars and a wish my first star is from the perspective of someone who manages the waste and the general van that's the word i'm looking for like utilities europe has been so so much easier than our experience in england anytime we've wanted to find somewhere to charge our electrics or empty our gray water tank or fill up with water it's never been too far away too difficult to do or too expensive and that means we sh should be able to enjoy what's around us more because we're not fighting with just living so that's my first star well done the parts of france and the parts of belgium we visited for making that easy for us my wish i have never had to dodge so many dog poos in really nice places people pick up your mess so next time if all of france and everyone who owns a dog here could just sort that out I'd appreciate that, so I can look at the surroundings rather than down at the floor so I'm not treading in a turd. My second star is the person I've travelled with, because she has had to conquer driving on the wrong side of the road and speaking in French to people because I don't, but she can. Sometimes. Sometimes better than other times, but a few times when we've come across someone whose English has been poor, Mia's been able to step in and find the communication that we need to carry on enjoying ourselves. So my second star of the continent is the person I came here with. Hello, we are back in Dieppe, which signals our return. We are 10 minutes away from where we need to catch our ferry and it's just a couple of hours before it leaves so we kind of need to be moving and getting towards that we have had such a fantastic time in europe we have seen some really unexpected things we've met up with long distant friends um and now it is time for us to say goodbye to the continent and head back to our little island that we call home but the adventures continue as we are heading straight up to bristol to see some friends and go through new places like the Cotswolds and maybe even the Lake District but definitely the Peak District again so keep an eye out for new videos coming out because the adventure never stops with us. <laughs>